Well, good morning. I'm Roddy Chester. This is necessary food and you got to use it or you're going to lose it. That's what Jesus says to his disciples in Luke chapter 8. Beginning in verse 16, we read, No man, when he hath lighted a candle, covereth it with a vessel, or putteth it under a bed, but setteth it on a candlestick, that they which enter in may see the light. For nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest, neither anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad. Jesus is teaching his disciples for the purpose of bringing light to the world, not just to one secret little group, but when the disciples learned from Jesus, they were to turn around and share that message with other people. They were to light that candle and set it on a candlestick, not put it under a vessel or put it under the bed where it hid the light, but to light that so that the whole room could be lit up. Jesus wants the whole world to understand his gospel message. And that those of us who belong to Jesus have been called to share that message. That's why. And so those secret things, those things that we learned in secret, we're supposed to turn around and declare them to the whole world. He says, neither anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad. And so he warns his disciples and you and I as well. He says, take heed therefore how you hear. For whosoever hath, to him shall be given. And whosoever hath not from him shall be taken even that which he seemeth to have. This warning is, is telling us either use it or lose it. Whenever you and I study our Bible, when we hear a message uh, that, that really blesses our heart, we're not supposed to be like the old Dead Sea over there in the land of Israel. You know, the Dead Sea is in the rift valley of the earth. It is the lowest place on earth. And all the water that flows into that, well, it stays there. The only way out of the Dead Sea is evaporation. It's so low that it's filled. The old dirt is just absolutely filled with salts and different minerals. And the Dead Sea is the, actually the highest saline concentration saltwater body. It, it's, it's saltier than the sea. Everything floats in the Dead Sea. But that water's no good. You can't drink it. But not far from there is the Sea of Galilee. That's what we're supposed to be like. The Dead Sea sits in a desert, and it's an interesting place to visit, but it's not a blessing to the country around it. Everything is dead inside the Dead Sea, and the water from the Dead Sea kills everything around it. But the Sea of Galilee is fed by the Jordan from the north, and then it flows out down the rest of the Jordan all the way down until it finally gets to the Dead Sea. Galilee is beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. There's trees and there's fruits and there's crops. And when you get south of there, they, they water out of that Jordan River and, and it's just a blessing to everyone. We're supposed to be like the Sea of Galilee. When the water of Jesus flows into us, it's supposed to flow out of us onto other people. The Spirit of God overflows, becomes within us a fountain of living water that springs up to life, not just for us, but to other people. So Jesus says, look, he says, what you, you, you need to be careful when you hear the word of God, because if you have this understanding and you take it and use it for what he intended it for, you will be given more. But there's a lot of people who seem to have or who think they have. And he says, what's going to happen to them is, is even what they think they have is going to be taken from them. You ever known anybody who used to seem like they were a lot closer to Jesus than they are now? They, they, they became a follower of Jesus, but after a while, instead of using the knowledge that Jesus gave them to allow that to change their life, they became selfish and self-centered and caught up in the things and the cares and the worries of this world only to, to seem like they moved farther away from Jesus. Well, that's the warning here. Listen, I want to encourage you this morning. Use it or lose it. That's what Jesus is telling us. For we must share, if we would keep, that good thing from above. Ceasing to give, we cease to have, such is the law of of love. A fellow named Trench wrote that little poem, and that's a blessing to me. I hope it is to you as well. Have a great Saturday. God bless.